When it comes to YouTube monetization, you're gonna have less opportunities if you curse in your videos or if there's any other red flags that could trigger demonetization. And as a result, you might also see yourself just getting less views on YouTube because if you're triggering demonetization, you're probably getting flagged for mature content also. So if you wanna make money on YouTube, keeping your content as clean as possible, it may not get nearly as many views, but those views will be worth a lot more money. When it comes to improving the quality of your videos, uh, getting a fancy camera can only take you so far. What's really gonna improve the quality of your videos is going to be having good audio so that you have the best listening experience for your viewers, and also good lighting goes a long way. If you're gonna spend money on anything, then I would prioritize audio first, lighting second, and then probably a better lens instead of a better camera. Those camera features are nice, but ultimately the lighting, the audio, and the lens make the biggest difference when it comes to your viewers seeing the quality of your videos. Getting yourself a nice prime lens that you know shoots at f1.8 can make a huge difference in the look of your videos. Also, you might not need as nearly as much lighting or harsh lighting to make your videos look good when it comes to that, and good audio is always worth the investment. No matter what, keep a backup of everything. You need to keep two to three copies of everything backed up or you will regret it. Invest in some storage. It makes one of the biggest difference and it will save you heartache and it might really be important for you to have an archive of that content. Keywords in your title and in your description matter a lot more than tags when it comes to your YouTube SEO. If you're going to use tags, use them strategically by putting longer, complex phrases that represent what your video is about, things that you said in the video, and that can be found in the title and the description. A lot of people say tags don't matter. I don't leave anything to chance, and I've seen my own evidence and data that your videos just do better when there's some kind of connection between the title of the video, the description, and the keyword tags as well. So you just want to make sure that all your bases are covered. I also definitely recommend closed captioning your videos. I use rev.com and so that's something I use because it just gives YouTube less ways to screw up what your video is about. You're probably tired about hearing how much you need to work on your thumbnails when it comes to YouTube, but the topic, the title, and the thumbnail is the only thing that someone has to go off of when they're deciding to click on your video in the first place. You can't complain about YouTube not pushing your videos if you see that you're getting impressions when you look at your YouTube analytics and your click-through rate. When you have a low click-through rate, that's people saying no to your video, not because it's a poor quality video, but because it's a title, topic, and thumbnail that isn't a appealing to them and doesn't get them excited and interesting enough to give your video a chance compared to everything else that they can watch. Discipline, consistency, and patience are the key to success in anything in life, and that is especially true when it comes to YouTube. You need the discipline to learn how to be a good video editor and to also learn all the other skills that go along with YouTube, and you need to be disciplined enough to do those things even when you're not getting anything out of it. You need to be able to be consistent. If you don't show up for people and you're not consistent, why should they be loyal to you? And you need to have patience. This rarely is overnight success for anybody, and when it is, they probably have some secret advantage or something in their backstory that you don't know about. A lot of people that I know that go viral on YouTube, they had a lot of disposable cash to throw at their first video. If you don't have ten dollars or $20,000 sitting around to be able to launch a viral YouTube channel, then you're probably going to have to be patient like most YouTubers and stick this out consistently over the long haul of three to five years to get anywhere, whether that's making money or getting the views that you want or getting the subscribers that you want. And that's just the truth, the very harsh truth about YouTube. If you need help with your YouTube titles and thumbnails, make sure you check out the YouTube Starter Kit. It's linked in the description down below. So there you go, there's my no BS advice when it comes to YouTube. If you want more YouTube tips, I have an entire library of over 300 videos with YouTube tips. If you wanna learn how to make money online, I have over 100 videos telling you how to do that. And if you wanna know how to make better quality content, I have video editing tutorials and some camera gear advice for you all linked in the description down below. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on this channel. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching and don't forget, Go out there and create something awesome today. Take care.